Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Neurosci IQ. In this episode, we will be talking about some exciting recent news. In fact, we will be talking about a new potential drug for Alzheimer's disease, which has shown very promising results in its clinical trials. This drug is an antibody and it's called Donanimab. So let's get started. First, we will talk about how antibodies work in the first place. Antibodies are proteins that have highly variable regions at their tips. These variable regions determine and allow the antibody to bind to its specific targets. And after binding to its specific target, the tail of the antibody can actually recruit other immune cells and these immune cells can destroy the target. So essentially an antibody is just a molecule that is shouting and trying to attract attention of immune cells towards a particular, for example, it could be a toxin, like a virus, a bacteria, or in this case, proteins that have been misfolded in Alzheimer's. And we will get to that later on. So this antibody, Donanimab, is actually an antibody that is generated using mice. And what happens is there are many different types of antibodies. For example, we have the mouse antibody, we have the human antibody. And through genetic engineering, we can have a mix and match. For example, an antibody that has some regions that are from a human and some regions that are from the mouse. They, it's called, for example, a chimeric antibody. Or for example, if it's more similar or if most of the regions are humanized, and there is only a few regions that remain with the amino acid sequences of the mouse, then that one is called a humanized antibody. And donanimab is actually a humanized antibody. So even though it's grown or generated using mice, most of the sequences have been replaced with human amino acid sequences. And why we do this in the first place? is one, it allows the antibody to have a lower immunogenicity profile. So other molecules or other antibodies in your body aren't attacking the antibody because they think it's a foreign particle from the mice. And also this allows the antibody to go or remain undetected for a longer period of time, which increases its serum half-life. So it allows the antibody to stay in the body longer without causing a negative reaction and being detected. So again, what you have to remember from this slide is that the Nanimab is a humanized antibody. So now let's talk about Alzheimer's disease. Basically, to just quickly summarize and give a very sim oversimplification of the disease, one of the main signs of Alzheimer's disease is the aggregation of amyloid beta proteins, which have been misfolded. And these proteins aggregate and form plaques. And this is one of the main features of Alzheimer's disease. And these aggregates clump up together and they have the potential to damage neurons and their receptors as well as other cells in the nervous system. So if you see, for example, a diagram on the left, a healthy nervous system has very, very, very few plaques and these plaques are quickly removed by, for example, the immune cells, for example, the microglia or the yellow cells in these diagrams. However, if you look at the right side of the diagram, you can see that these plaques are growing and growing and growing and the body has a very tough time removing the plaques. And these plaques, as they grow, end up damaging the neurons, which leads to a lot of the neurons in our bodies dying. And that's what causes the 
main symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. And also what we what is very important for us to realize is that these amyloid beta aggregates so these large plaques that you see on the right are actually the targets of donanimab so if you remember the antibody is using its variable regions which are specific to these amyloid beta proteins and it binds to the amyloid beta proteins to recruit them so now just to reiterate basically how does the nanimap work and the way it works is that the antibody has the right specificity to bind to the plaques in our nervous system which are basically misfolded proteins and these antibodies recruit immune cells such as microglial so the yellow cells in the diagram and these microglial allow, allow, allow for the breakdown or the removal of these plaques from the nervous system. So overall what happens is that the, park, the Alzheimer's disease is slowed down considerably because now there is less plaque and a lot of the plaque is getting removed. So overall, less plaque means less symptoms. And this is why this drug is very promising because it helps people who have Alzheimer's have less severe symptoms and it, it reduces the speed of the disease's progression. Thank you so much for watching. For more similar content, make sure to like and subscribe.